make or break Charizard. But let's see what happens here. And Fu actually opts to go for the Weavile. Okay, so this will be interesting. So I'm not sure about this matchup in particular, but just thinking about the character of Weavile, um, he's definitely able to zone him out with um, Icicle Crash, but he also has a little bit less health, but he can also 2x underneath Flare Blitz and a whole bunch of other stuff like that. So let's see if Fumu can really utilize this and see how this goes. All right, Zephyro with the approach, but we'll get his counter pierced by that fully charged counter. Oh, he's gonna get his counter pierced again. You gotta shield Weavile's wake up. That's what I was saying too. I don't think Zephyro has a whole bunch of experience against Weavile. So he might be fighting an uphill battle here that he doesn't not quite know how to do. So this will be interesting. This might have been a perfect choice for Fumu. Knockoff will be punished though. Does avoid that counter though. But hits hit by that one. Zephyro in a huge low lead here. And he's gonna get his counter pierced by the Emolga. Nice call by Fumu. He's saying a full burst already. And he's gonna use it. Alrighty. He's gonna get that grab, knowing that Zeph's getting a little bit scared, and as he should be, Fumu is sitting at nearly full health, and that grab's gonna take it. Wow, Fumu's Weavile going nuts right there and taking the first round against Zeph very quickly right there. Alright, I hear some Fumu cheers from the... Oh, that we um, Emolga is going to miss! Oh, that air counter, though, built pretty much specifically to speed that uh, attack from Weavile. Counter will be out and do a lot of damage there and set up for an Oki. Oh, that Night Touch will connect. Nice damage ending with a knockoff, making it hard for Zeph to get his burst, which he's oh so desperately needs here. All right, Emolga on shield. Oh, that's going to be beat out with that with that homing attack there and set things in Zeph's favor. A knockoff taking more of his burst away. And there's Night Slash doing good damage and Fumu in a pretty big lead here and just keeping Zeph away from his burst. And here comes Fumu's own. Oh, does not get the grab there. And now uh, Zeph is sitting at his full burst, but will he pop it? There it is, right there. Mega Charizard, you have to respect Mega Charizard. Oh no, I think Fumu tried to get a burst in there and it would have worked too, but just barely ran out of burst frames. Oh, that's gonna get countered and Zeph will take that round, but now he's staying at no burst. Oh, okay, his support shield will give him about half burst, but that's not that hard for Fumu to take away with knockoff if he needs to. And now he's sitting in the middle of the field, not doing anything. What is this, Zeph? All right, setting up ice shots, hoping he'll land on it to no avail. Oh, that counter will be stuffed. Nice work by Fumu. He's taking that round. He's almost got his burst on the ready. Emolga will catch. That'll be any option that he can do from there. All right, Ice Will Crash will miss, and that Flare Blitz will get Zeph into the battle. Oh, Fury Swipe's catching him in the air underneath that air cutter right there. Emolga will connect. He did fastball afterwards. Here comes Burst Weavile, though. How is he going to be able to work with it? All right, there's that Fire Punch combo that he's known for. There's that Seismic Toss for a good amount of damage right there, but some scaling. All right, Zeph's going to have to be careful. Wait. Oh, is that Burst going to connect? It is! All right! Just barely. This is going to do a nice amount of damage and set things in Fumu's favor. Take away some burst from Zephyril. All right. Oh, that grab is not working this time. It only works round one. He needs to make sure he's a bit more careful with it. Takes much more damage. He will lose it. Charizard's damage output is amazing. Here comes Mega Charizard 2. Just increasing that amazing damage output. Approaching in the air. It's very brave of Fumu right there. Got to respect it when he's flying. Oh, that Emolga, though, will trade, and he's going to need just that. All right. All right, so there we go. He's waited out Mega Charizard. Now he just needs to get those last few hits in. All right. Oh, wait. Oh, that's going to combo. Zephyr will take the first game there, but Fumu's showing that his Weavile is definitely capable. He just needs to make sure he's a bit more careful with his grabs because Zephyr will cut onto that very quickly. He may have worked the first round, but not so much the second or third. Now, are we going to get a Pokemon change? It does not look like it. Fumu confident in this Weavile and thinking he can do this here. Alright, very angry Charizard. Anyway, into this next match. Zephyr just standing still trying to... The Intimidation Factor. Fumu fearless with that grab. Alright, now set things in his favor. Already seeing at about two thirds of his burst already. Night Slash is gonna get him a combo. Take away any synergy he already has. 
And that, ooh, will counter appears. Zephyr needs a shield on wake up. Alrighty. Oh, that will be beat. Almost taking it. Boomer will get a perfect. Oh my goodness, that was the riskiest grab I've ever seen. But Zephyr will get some reward from it. Fury Sites will snag it, and Fumu will take the first round. Excellent work. But now can Fumu keep it up, or is it going to be a repeat of the last round where Zephyr comes back? Alrighty. Fumu taking that first phase change, and then Imoga will punish the Inferno right there. Knockoff, not able to connect though. Alright, setting up some Oki situations. Ooh, counter trading with Fire Punch it looked like. Oh, but here comes a crit side of and this is going to do a ton of damage right there. Almost half of its health. Wow, 2x actually working in that situation. Surprising. And Agility Fury Slice will work out. Alright. Alrighty. High School Crash will not work. 2x will punish it. Oh, it does not shield it on Wake Up. Alright, but here comes Burst Weavile. Alright, here comes the Emolga. Could have Agility did it, but did not wreck in time. But Shielding it is not a bad option either. Wow. Alright. Alright. Oh, he bursts it in time! And that's gonna crit. Is that gonna kill? I think it might just. Wait for it. Oh, that's it! No, it's not! I lied! I lied! Alright, but nearly. Zephyr has a lot to work with, and. Oh, is this going to connect? It is, and it's gonna come into the full animation. A burst rage powered Charizard! This is gonna do a ton and set things. A little bit more equal here, but Fumu in a slight lead. Oh, that Flurbus will snag it though. Now, let's see if Fumu can take this back though, or is Zephyr gonna run away with this? Oh, he counted that. You, that will counter Pierce. You have to be careful when he charges. Oh, 2x almost escaping underneath it, and that will combo into a nice seismic toss. Barely any scaling. That's gonna do a ton of damage. All right. Oh, 2Y will not connect. That's a low, and Charizard made sure he jumped to avoid that. All right. Emolga is going to not punish. Oh, knockoff will get countered right there, and Zephyr will take the second game in a clean round three right there. See, can Fumu make the reverse, though? Can he bring it back from the dead? But let's see. Fumu's definitely been putting up a good fight, but Zephyr's damage output is definitely meaning a lot here. Can he work around it? And we're getting a character change or a support change. So let's see. Is Fumu bringing out the one, the only Blaziken? Or is he just going to try and work with a new support? I'm not quite sure how I would feel about the Blaziken choice, considering how much he has told me about this matchup. But, um, it's going to be interesting to see how this goes, though. Ooh, what did he pick? Who is he going to be? He's going to be Blaziken. All right. Maybe, just maybe, Blaziken can win this over for him, though. But Zeph is sitting at a huge ride of momentum here. But Fumu is all about momentum, as he showed with his earlier match against Sorry Tag. Once he gets it, he runs and goes to town with it. So let's see how this will work out in his favor. Zeph makes some nice movement options, trying to bait something out to punish. Ooh, that forward Y will connect. Set things a bit in Fumu's favor here. Oh, nice grab there. He's got to be careful now that he's shown that he'll grab. He, Zephyr will not try and punish it. He's got to be careful not to overdo it. Oh, those blaze kicks will connect. Already so much more damage than usual. Oh, that butt bomb though. <laughs> the the plus you off hip check right there. But anyways. Oh, here comes Burst. Get rid of that pressure from the flying. Oh, no. Like I said, he's got to be careful with that grab. He... Now that uh, Zephyril knows about it, he's going to try and avoid it. The Emoga will connect. And here comes Burst Charizard, though. Ready for that reversal. Just going to fly and try and wait that Burst Blaze can out. Foom making a nice job, just making sure he's safe and moving around. Oh, that is that might be it. Um, oh, my goodness. Charizard having one of the most powerful grabs in the game. I think only beaten by Machamp gonna be a lot of damage. Several is sitting at a match point here and that's going to be grabbed from Zeph. Oh, Blaze Kicks will work. Alright, Heat Wave will get snuffed. 
Uh, miss space grab there. All right, here comes Burst Charizard. That's going to connect and do a ton of damage. Fumu's going to have to really work if he wants to make this comeback. But he almost has that burst on ready, and there it is. Can he do it? 395. Blaze King can tear through that if he just gets the right reads. Let's see if Fumu can do it. All right, Zephyr doing some nice spacing with the flamethrower. Oh, that's going to miss, I believe. And Zeph getting a very risky grab there. Fumu could have attacked and gotten it, but did not work out. Let's see, a rage boosted Blaziken though can do this if he plays it right. That's gonna trade, and Zephyr will take that. 3-0 for Wizards Finals, and I guess we're gonna be going again.